are we are the young. Hey guys. Oh my goodness, Danny. Hi. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> it's good. Oh, babe. You're not gonna do it again. Done. He's gonna put me into labor. Anyway, hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't seen us before, we are the Youngs and usually we do vlogs, but we have been doing a lot more sit down videos recently and you guys have been loving them. So I thought I'd come back and do what's in my hospital bag. If you have been following along with us, you will know that we are pretty much there with this baby. We are 37 weeks and five days. So nearly at 38 weeks, which just seems crazy. Oh, my hair's doing my head in. <laughs> so I thought I would come back and show you what's in my hospital bag, show you what we're bringing with us for me and baby boy. We've still got a few bits to add in because obviously there's not, we can't have everything packed beforehand because you need kind of access to your makeup and stuff. So not everything is in here. Please let me know if I forgot anything. Um, and if you think anything is pointless, but I'm so excited to share what's in this bag. Um, yeah, I love these videos, so hopefully you like this one. So, firstly the bag is completely out of my character, <laughs> but it is a huge travel overnight bag. I've had this for years, my mum's friend got me this. I've used it quite a lot actually, especially when I was in hospital with River, so I just, I don't know, I'm getting quite sentimental guys, it must be the hormones, <laughs> but I felt like I should really bring it again. But the only difference is this time it's got baby stuff and my stuff, so I thought I'd start with baby stuff first. The reason actually that I only brought one bag is I just felt like I don't need that much stuff for him. I don't think I, Dad thinks I overpacked last time, but I don't think I did. Um, I just had her nappy bag and then a few things in my bag and my bag was pretty empty and um, so this time I've just kind of compacted everything. Let's start with his stuff. So firstly I have his blankets. So this is a new one. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh yeah, the design on it. It's got little hearts on it. It's just cream. Um, but what's special about it is Dan's mum actually got us this. And it's from a brand, Nature's Purist, which we've kind of all been loving, me and Grace. So his mum likes to treat us, I think, every baby and get us something new from there. So it's a really, really soft, thin, lightweight blanket. So I've got that one with me, but I also have a really thick shawl as well so the reason i'm bringing this is my old neighbor knitted this for me and also well crocheted it for me i guess um and i took it with us for taking river home so it meant a lot for me to take it for him coming home so i'm really excited that he will get to use this as well and it's been snowing here in the last week so he's gonna be freezing <laughs> Sorry, I've changed the angle a bit now. <laughs> so the next thing I have for him is his clothes. So we were really minimal this time. Last time I had little poly bags of, um, like sandwich bags full of all different sizes in case she was big or tiny. Um, but this time I've just decided let's just go for first size newborn and hope for the best. <laughs> I think I have one tiny baby thing but I doubt he's going to be that small and if I do go overdue I'm just going to wash some of the bigger stuff and have someone take that into us if he doesn't fit. So this is probably my favourite whole onesie which I mean look at the size of that but that actually looks quite big to me. I know River this um, size was quite big on her. I mean, she wasn't small enough for a tiny baby, but she definitely got a few weeks out of this. So this is just from Asda, just a set. And it says Cheeky Chappy, which I'm not keen on if you saw her vlog, but um, I love the plain color of it. I just really like that. Um, and this one has stars on. Um, yeah, so I've only brought two of them. And then I've brought lots of vests with me. <laughs> a white one and a blue one and this tiny, tiny, that looks tiny to me, but I bet this will fit him. I've got a feeling this will be the one. Yeah, so that's, I think, all from Asda, one from Mamas and Peppas, and then this is his going home outfit, I think. Um, it's a little onesie from Jojo's. And it's just got little blue elephants on, and then we have a little knitted hat from Daniel's mum again. Apparently this is the first thing that she has knitted. So I feel really privileged that she's made something for him. So hopefully it's not too big. Um, and then we still have to pick up some, you know the kind of thin cotton um, newborn hats, but hopefully this one will do, or the hospital might give us one if we don't have one before I can get hold of them. I find it really hard to find boy ones in a newborn size. They're all quite big. I don't know if boys have bigger heads. Maybe you guys can let me know on that. Um, 
so yeah that's the only hat we have at the minute i also have some socks which i need to wash but i just kept them in the bag just now in case anything happens over the next few, few days hopefully fingers crossed i really want to go into labor these are just plain little white socks from marks and spencers which i picked up yesterday so organized guys so organized i have some dummies which i had with the river but i was too scared to use in the hospital in case i got into trouble but this time River is a dummy baby, so I don't mind if he wants to be one too, so I've taken them. Um, we also have a pack of water wipes. Obviously, they make you use the cotton balls and warm water, um, but just in case, last time I wasn't able to get up. So in case Daniel's not with me and I need to change his nappy, I've got these wipes here. Because um, we don't have sinks right next to our beds, it's like in the toilet, so we'd have to leave, get up and go and get that, so save any faff. I've got a little suit of cream just in case. We didn't need it with River at the beginning but you never know and I might forget it if she comes in to visit and I, we've got some. Um, and then lastly for him I think we just have some newborn nappies where these are freaking me out. Look how tiny these are. <laughs> um, and sorry there is one last thing for him. River had really really dry skin second or third day um, when we got home so I just thought if we get kept in I've got something that I trust and um, something natural to use on him if he is a little bit dry but hopefully he'll have enough of the white stuff still on him that he won't need anything but I've got if we need it. For me I will start with my toiletries which most of them are in my Oliver bonus bag which is from my mum which is like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> so in here I just got some face wipes, got a little dry shampoo Side note, my hair, don't know what's going on with it in the last week, it is like so greasy even though I wash it, um, don't know what's happening. Any advice guys, let me know. <laughs> I've got a little toothpaste, still need to put my brush in there, that'll be last minute. Um, shampoo and conditioner, some lip balm in here, a face cloth, some wet wipes just for my hands, some hand cream and I have some deodorant. Then I have some shower gel and some body lotion which I mean if I remember in the next few days I'll put into smaller bottles but I'm happy just to use them like this. Depends how many showers I have when I'm there as well so I'm happy to keep that and this is easy access if I need some sort of moisturization or something. So next for me I have my moisturizer which is supposed to be in that bag so I just use the Liz Earl stuff so I'm just going to keep using what I usually use I'm not going to buy like a miniature thing for that. I have my hairbrush, just my tangle teaser, which is just loose because I hate having knots and if it's something that's like annoying me, I can't like get it out of my head. So I'll be like, Daniel, get my hairbrush. So I'm just going to leave that loose in the bag. Um, I have part of my charger, so I remember to put the cable in, but Daniel's in charge of all things technology, so he'll have that technology, technolo tech, tech stuff. <laughs> um, in the front here, I just have some disposable underwear. Probably showing you guys this. This is just the Tesco brand. I can't remember what I used last time. I think it was Asda or something. But I've brought some underwear, like big size underwear, but I actually just wore these the whole time. Um, I just felt like horrible. I didn't want to keep using the same underwear. Um, with taking the pads off I just didn't feel very clean. I was quite sweaty and hot in the hospital so I just used these. I've got five. If I need more I can always get someone to run and get me them. But yeah I think I used them honestly for like a week maybe. I remember using them for quite a long time afterwards just because they were just so easy and I could just throw them away. Then no shame. <laughs> got my pads. So the hospital, I really like the hospital ones. I don't know what other people think but they're like huge and like square and they're just absolutely massive but I just found them really comfy and I didn't feel sweaty in them. Like I know like some pads just make me feel really sweaty and these ones are from Tesco which I don't think I used last time either but they just feel really soft and like cotton like so hopefully I can use these as well and I might like them better but the hospital ones were my favourite ones last time so I haven't brought too many of them. And then I've brought some disposable breast pads but I'm assuming I'll be out of hospital before I need these but I've got them anyway and I also have some reusable ones which I am going to wash. These I've never used before um, but I thought I would just give them a shot just to see if I like them better. The, dis the disposable ones I felt were quite not uncomfortable but just if you put lanolin on and then like on crack nipples or something and then put a disposable on sometimes they would stick to it um, which 
I'm hoping that these wouldn't, they'd just be a bit softer, but it might be something that I only can use at night time. I don't know how good these are. These are just from Amazon. I believe they're like Anna Wiz or something, but they had quite good reviews and I thought I'm not gonna spend too much until I see if I like reusable ones. So we'll see. Next, I have some lanolin cream. Bam, I think it's Bam. Um, I used this last time. I only ever needed to buy two maybe just one i can't remember um but i have so much left in here to do me I'm thinking actually maybe it's like not i don't think it goes off i hope so <laughs> there's also some more natural ones that i've had a look at there's boob ease i think um which i've seen a lot on instagram and with new mums and i wondered if any of you guys have tried that but from what i know this is the best stuff so i'm kind of nervous not to have it with me talking about cracked nipples and such um, this is something I did not have last time um, I bought some not with me in the hospital I did buy some later on when my boobs were really, really cracked I bought just the I think they're Tommy Tippy I'm not really sure just the ones that were, I was able to get in as or Tesco but my friend recommended these ones and I thought if I was struggling in hospital um, like with River she didn't she latched on, that was fine, but she wouldn't nurse for very long. So I was thinking maybe it could be a latch thing. So I just wanted to have these with me in case I need them. So I need to sterilize them and stuff before I go. But I'm going to keep them in the packet because River is going through my bag right now. And she keeps wanting to open these. So if they're already open, she will be away with them. So <laughs> I'm going to keep them in there. And I have a nursing cover, which I didn't have this before. This is from Grace. So I thought it'd be nice just to have something in the hospital just in case he needs fed and people are there. And it just I just don't feel like having my boobs out. Last time I had no issue at all, just because I was like so tired. <laughs> but this time it would be different. So I thought I would just take it with me. Before I go into my clothes, there's a few extra things like Kirby's and bobbles, which I still need to put in. Um, and also my makeup bag as well will be going in but I use that so often and I actually have two separate little mini bags so they're going to fit in there which I'm just going to take it all because I really don't have that much stuff that I use every day so I'm happy just to take it with me and last time I did put makeup on so hopefully um, this time I will feel like doing that because I feel like it helps with the pictures you don't feel so like dead <laughs> so I've got two pairs of socks with me um, I've got some underwear, which I don't need to see, guys. And then I need to pick up some cheap slippers. If not, I'm just going to bring my Ugg ones with me. Um, I've got one muslin cloth, which I forgot, which actually is supposed to be in his pile. I've got two nursing maternity bras, which um, I know seems quite a lot if I'm only in for a day and a bit, but I thought if I want to get into the pool, instead of wearing a bikini, because I don't think I fit any of my bikinis, um, I'm just, I'm guessing you can't wear a swimsuit guys, right? So I'm like assuming it's just, I can't wear a bikini. So I'm just gonna wear this maternity bra in the pool and then not worry about bottoms. Is that appropriate? I don't know, I don't know, they might throw me out. I have long nighty, but it's more like a big oversized shirt. Uh, I just thought it would be comfy and something that covered my arms. Last time it was absolutely roasting on the ward but with looking back at the pictures I just had like a tank top on and I just felt really like swollen and like awful in the pictures so I just wanted something that I'd feel more comfortable in um, and if it's too hot I'm just gonna have to get Daniel to go and get me something else but um, that's the pyjamas that I've chosen. And then I also have this pyjama top but these are both from Primark. Um, and I thought that would be easy to kind of feed in and I could just have my bra underneath there um, and it kind of looks a little bit pretty but it's really really big um, and then I can just wear that with my pyjama bottoms that I've got. So I guess that's a bit lighter, I could wear that afterwards if it was too hot but I prefer to be in something that kind of covers everything and then I've just got my white company trousers which I brought with me last time so they're just really long and comfy um, and then for going home I'm just going to pack probably a maxi dress or something just really easy and simple just to throw on. Last time I think I left in those white company trousers and a t-shirt and that was fine because it was absolutely roasting and it depends if what I have on when I'm in labour I might just wear what I've got when I arrive just to get home because we're only 10 minutes away and we're not going to stop anywhere on the way home. So that's all I have and I'll hopefully be wearing my flip flops when I go in. If not I'll get somebody to put them in. I think 
that is everything. I've hopefully had my glasses on, I'll remember them. Um, and that's it for my hospital bag. We're honestly so close to the hospital, so if we need to get something, Daniel can just drive back. We're hoping to only be in for the 24 hours. Last time I had strep B with River, so we were monitored for 24 hours, so hopefully it'll be the same this time. But if there's more complications, it's easy enough for me to get stuff there. So yeah, I also have my hospital notes as well. So hopefully that's everything that I've remembered to show you. But you can let me know in the comments below if I forgot anything. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting for you guys to watch. Please let me know what you'd like to see post labor or if there's anything else um, that you'd like to see before. Just let us know below and we'll try and get that for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button so you can see when our little baby boy arrives. It's honestly getting so close. I'm hoping that he's gonna come before his due date as everybody does, but River did so hopefully um, if not I might be back with like the most depressed video <laughs> we've ever done we'll definitely probably have a, the most depressing vlog video will be like 39 plus 5 days and I'll be like crying <laughs> but um, hopefully not hopefully he will be here um, so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video bye guys